Hi guys, my name's Crystal from Berwick Mitsubishi and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2014 Holding Commodore SV6 Storm VF. So we'll start at the front of the car, work our way around, take a look at the condition um, and of course the features of the car. So starting at the front now, I'm hoping that that evening sun is showing you this beautiful deep green colour. Um, it really is such a beautiful colour on this car. Um, and I just need to start at the front here, guys. So I just can't get my eyes off that green, sorry. We've got that beautiful Holden iconic badging there uh, on that black grill with your chrome uh, border. That chrome theme does continue underneath and of course around your fog lights here and your lower level lights as well. Nice big headlights, very common for the Commodore wraps around the side there and of course your color-coded parking sensors as well at the front so this car just looks so beautiful in that brilliant green color nice sporty lines on the front of it uh, and no damage to any of the front panels coming around the side you'll see that uh the side does wing out so you can fit bigger wheels um and again just get a look at that beautiful paint color as well definitely recommend that if you do come to buy this car make sure you get yourself some glass coat and protect that color kylie our pre-delivery coordinator can help set that up for you we've got some beautiful um alloy wheels on this one no signs of gutter rashing whatsoever an excellent tread on those potenza tires there as well as we come around the side you have got your uh, blinker indicator in that chrome surround vent you've got the nice skirting along the bottom and of course your chrome storm badging. Uh, moving up, you can see you've got your color coded door handles, a few light scratches, perhaps the owner wore a ring or something like that. Um, and of course, if we come back, you can see that you have got your color matching side mirrors as well. Looking around the length of the vehicle and you can see it just presents fantastic. Uh, and of course being a Commodore fuel filler cap here on the driver's side. Now we're at our second premium alloy wheel and you can see just like the first it is a little bit dusty but there is no gutter rashing or signs of wear and we've got a Bridgestone tire on this one and again fantastic tread on that one. As we come around we've got those beautiful big tail lights. I think they're very iconic uh, for the Commodores. They have not changed this design in many years. If it's not broken don't fix it. Um, tow bar fitted color matching parking sensors as you can see reverse camera you've got this nice chrome strip along the back your beautiful Holden badging and of course your SV6 badging there on the back as well um, now I'll just lift this one up and show you just how much space you get so we have got our uh, genuine mats in here as well but take a look at that for storage tons of storage inside the boot here. Um, I think people forget just how much storage capacity you do get with these Commodores and being a wagon you've got that bit more as well. We've got a 12 volt just inside our cargo net here and of course a cargo blind to give you that extra piece of privacy uh, so that if you do uh, keep anything valuable nobody needs to see what you've got in your boot. Um, so I'll just pop the mats back guys tons of space in there not going to disappoint any family or anybody wanting to lug around anything at all rear windscreen wiper always handy to have again just look at the flare on the wheels and you can see uh, the Commodores are designed to have either the wheels they come with or you can go much much bigger there having a look at this premium alloy wheel and you can see again no signs of gutter rashing it is a testament to the original owner remember this car is a 2014 it is four years old and it has been really really well maintained um, and again you've got some great tread there on those bridge stones just like the other side you have got those storm badging as well on the side now we stop at our last premium alloy wheel and you can see just like the other three you're not going to be disappointed there is no gutter rashing whatsoever and again just like the front driver's side excellent potenza tire there with tons of tread so now we'll open up the bonnet and take a look at the engine bay okay guys we're now looking underneath the bonnet of our 2014 sv6 storm vf commodore uh, it is a six cylinder 3.6 liter petrol engine 
uh, which puts out a massive 210 kilowatts of power and a huge 350 newton meters of torque. Now I know this is what the Commodore uh, drivers tend to like is all that power that you get at the wheels there. Um, and even though it is a V6, you've still got a ton of power there. Uh, with the petrol fuel tank, it's a 71 litre and it gets you roughly 973 kilometres to the tank. And with all this power, you still have safety. So it comes fitted with six airbags, giving it a five star ANCAP safety rating. Okay guys, so we're now sitting inside the SV6 dorm. It is so amazing in here. It is really luxurious and uh, it's not gonna disappoint. So let's just get started. I'll show you all the features on my right and work my way across. There's so much to show you here, guys. Please pay attention to the condition of everything. So here on the driver's arm, first off, black padded leather with red stitching. Oh my God, it just looks so great with that contrasting red stitching. And that is throughout, that is on the chairs, that is on all trims here. So it looks amazing. So you've got your uh, power window controls with a button there to lock the windows. Then you have your mirror control. So you simply use the little switch here to pick left or right and then move it as need be so that you can uh, adjust your side mirrors there. Lock the doors with a push of a button right near the handle where it makes sense to have it. Uh, what I might do now is turn on the car. Now, the car is low on fuel, but I've uh, actually let it get a little bit low just so that I can show you one feature that it has, which is really awesome here, guys. So I'll turn on the car, let it all turn on. Now it will tell me that it's low on fuel, which it has started to say in my dash. Then if you look at the center, it says low fuel warning, please refuel soon. I can hit okay, or if I'm staying somewhere or if I'm in an unfamiliar area, I can actually go fuel station list, um, agree to that, and it will show me all the fuel stations that are near me in order of distance as well. It's amazing, it's so smart, so great to see. Um, now I will just put it back home. Back to where I was over here, guys. If I turn my steering wheel to the right and put my left indicator, you can see here I have got my headlight controls. Easiest way is obviously just to leave them on auto. Uh, can adjust where my headlights are sitting. So simply using this little dial here. Um, and then I'll just turn that indicator off. But on this right stalk, as you can see, I have got my indicator controls uh, located there as well. And then I also have got the menu button there to scroll through what I want to see here on my dash. Uh, really nice and easily placed. My left stalk over here has my wipers for my front and rear windscreen and the washers there as well. Leather wrap steering wheel, guys, no signs of wear. I'm betting the original owner kept a steering wheel cover on this because this does not look like a four year old steering wheel. Voice control and audio media settings on the right hand side. Horn in the middle, just below the Holden badging. And then you have got your cruise control settings here on the left side. Now, if you have a look, there is some piano black finishes through things and I like that they've included it on the steering wheel as well. It just adds that touch of class, guys. If I just simply pull this lever down on the left hand side, I can adjust the height of my steering wheel to make sure I can see my dash clearly, but also adjust it telescopically. Uh, really great to have that feature, especially in the bigger cars. Um, and then simply pulling that lever back up will lock it into place. Now, as you can see, there is this carbon look, um, which does run along the length of the dash um, all the way from door to door. Looks amazing, honestly, guys. Um, and as we get to the centre here, I will just turn down this radio that's playing. Now, if I go navigation and just wait for that to open up, you can see just how clear our map is there. So all really clear and lovely. And then if I pop the car into reverse, you can see just how clear that camera is. It is so great. And as um. You can see the car does have park assist as well, which is always handy when you have big sedans like this. Um, really clear display there, makes moving such a larger vehicle nice and easy. You've got your hard buttons here as well um, to help you through things. So you can just push your hard buttons and use that to control it. In this chrome, uh, sorry, in this carbon look here, you have got your hazard lights. And then just below that, you've got your split climate control. So 
passenger can be on one temperature and the driver can be on another. Um, always handy and it stops a lot of arguments. You've got a little section here um, where you can store something and a 12 volt. So um, I would be guessing that I would personally be putting something like a phone in there and then just plugging it up. Automatic gear stick here with the boot at the bottom. Again, no signs of wear whatsoever. Handbrake, which is nice and easy to use over here. Lift it up as you would an old style handbrake and push it down the same way you would uh, release a handbrake. Over here, you have got your traction control button so you can turn that off. Uh, so if you were gonna put chains and go in the snow or get a bit muddy, um, you can turn that off so that the car doesn't go nuts. If you tow anything on the back, you have got a button here to turn off your parking sensors. And of course you can turn off that park assist function as well. Two large cup holders guys. And behind that, uh, the huge storage capacity that the Commodores are known for with their center. Uh, you've got a USB as well and a 12 volt in there as well. Now, if you just have a look above the passenger side guys, you've got that beautiful red stitching and the storm embroidered there. Um, and on the seats themselves, if you see here, it has got this lush feel as it's got suede against leather, guys. Uh, no cheaping out from holding on this one. It's a beautiful car. Uh, the camera will pan around and just show you how really beautifully presented this car is. It definitely does not seem like a four-year-old car. And with the amount of Ks on it, guys, uh, it's really a treat. And it is one of those things it's a real gem to come across something like this so make sure you do come and check it out before it is gone okay guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video i hope i've successfully answered any questions you may have about this uh storm sv6 holding commodore um it is in amazing condition and this paint honestly you'd be crazy not to protect it it's a gorgeous color you have to come see it for yourself when the light hits it just right it looks amazing guys it qualifies for our premium mechanical protection plan because it is in such an amazing condition so make sure you click the link in the description box below and find out about that and give us a call on 9907 0555 to organize a test drive before it's gone.